And Milton is on the move tonight. Right now, the major hurricane has grown into a destructive Category 5, and it's taking aim at Florida's West Coast. The message tonight, get out now. Emergency evacuations are underway across Florida. This is a live look at a DOT camera on I-4 in Polk County. Traffic flowing a little better at this hour as thousands drive to safety. Residents once again leaving their homes less than two weeks after Hurricane Helene struck. But help is on the way. We learned Rhode Island energy crews and support staff are leaving tomorrow to help with anticipated restoration. Good to have you with us tonight. I'm Patrice Wood. And I'm Dan Janik. You have to take this one serious. The big threat is once again the rain and the storm surge. Let's get right to Storm Team 10 Chief Meteorologist Mark Searles and that new data mark. All right, Patrice and Dan. Hi, everyone. The, the 11 o'clock advisory in. If you were following along earlier tonight, you know it had peak wind uh, up around 180 miles an hour earlier tonight with gust to 220. So that, that has dropped a little bit. That was expected. It's likely that Milton reached its peak intensity during our 7 o'clock newscast earlier tonight. You notice how the eye, not quite as defined as it was earlier tonight, it is undergoing a replacement cycle, which these massive storms often do when that happens. Uh, the intensity drops just a bit. The pressure comes up a bit, but the storm becomes larger in size, and that is what is happening with Milton. It's likely going to maintain Category 5 strength. They're right on that Category 4, Category 5 borderline over the course of the next 36 hours or so as it makes its approach to the east and eventually northeast. It is still forecast to drop a little bit in intensity right before landfall. Great news with the wind speed, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything as it's related to storm surge because that storm surge is already established. That wall of water is being pushed toward the Florida coastline. You'll notice here too by Thursday morning landfall, by the way, roughly around midnight or so Wednesday night into early Thursday morning near Tampa, still a category one hurricane on the east coast. So there are hurricane warnings up still here from Cape Canaveral north and there still could be some significant storm surge on the eastern side of Florida even after that storm passes. You can see that here indicating up to six feet, but the biggest storm surge would be right around the Tampa area and this could potentially be historic surge. If you remember with Helene about a week and a half ago, these records were all established just a week and a half ago. The record storm surge and we're forecasting possibly 10 to 12 feet of surge, so higher than already uh, was established just about a week and a half ago with lean. That is the biggest story here. Patrice and Dan it continues to be the life threatening storm surge there on the uh, west coast of Florida. I'm back with a look at the rain down south. How much of that rain, if any, could get up into the affected areas from Helene just a week and a half ago as well. And of course, the latest on our local forecast in just a bit. All right, Mark.